Что забыли здесь, твари? Призвали. 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 Так кого слушать, угоды? Нож! What Russia and what Iran and what Syria have done recently is a humanitarian disgrace. I will tell you that. We're there for one reason. We're there to get ISIS and get rid of ISIS and go home. We're not there for any other reason. The deal to get them out of here is the deal that no one wants to talk about. It's Raqqa's dirty secret. So did Kurds, Arabs, and the Western coalition get together and agree a deal that not only allowed IS to escape from Raqqa, but also allowed its fiercest fighters to roam far and wide from the confines of this city. We see that this was a convoy and a deal too large to hide. The world was told only a few dozen local fighters were being let go. No foreigners and no weapons. But the trucks were crammed full of fighters, some wearing suicide belts. All were heavily armed. This couldn't look like the Islamic State's escape to victory. So the SDF insisted there would be no flags and no banners. Instead, IS fighters sat boldly on top of the trucks. The axle on one lorry broke, it was so overloaded with IS weaponry. There were about 4,000 people leaving Raqqa on that road here. It took them about two to three hours. It was bumper to bumper. Coalition aircraft flew above them, but did nothing. The convoy drove on. We kept close on its tracks, for here is where IS hoped to disappear. This is horrible what, what the United States and Israel and Saudi Arabia have done. And France and Great Britain's involved in it. Yes. It's horrible what they've done to Syria. Well, we destroyed Libya, we destroyed uh, Iraq. We, we, we've just left just a trail of carnage and bloodshed yes. all over the Middle East. Rubble and tears. For whose benefit? Who stands to benefit from all of this carnage? I always have to ask that question. Who, who's benefiting from this? We're there for one reason. We're there to get ISIS and get rid of ISIS and go home. We're not there for any other reason. The group, the cabal that has control of America mm -hmm. are evil and corrupt. And uh, they're drunk on power, drunk with arrogance, uh, that they can just push their way around, push people around all over the world, carry out acts, um, uh, illegal acts, uh, stage fake news to justify a, a bombing campaign, another war, all to advance somebody's agenda. Unless he takes radical action to change the course of his administration, he now owns Barack Obama's war in Syria. He's already bombed Syria several times. He's already accused Russia. He's put sanctions on Russia uh, and, and accused them of chemical weapons, using chemical weapons in, in Great Britain. Well, yes. I mean, Mr. Trump is going along with the deep state. 
He's appeasing them. He's like, okay, I'll just give you, I'll give you whatever you want. Just don't impeach me. All right, everyone, here's a reminder. Google will determine what is or is not true because, you know, much like their AI system is never wrong when it comes to demonetizing content, of course, uh, it's capable of determining what is or is not uh, true as well. Uh, what they're doing now is deranking RT and Sputnik. Now, YouTube in a blog post yesterday said that you don't have to worry about conspiracy theory videos anymore, mostly, because they're going to algorithmically, I think I said that right, get rid of them. Like, you're not gonna get them recommended anymore, they're going to hide them so misinformation is not spread. Uh, you see how that could be disastrous, right? Well, anyway, they're gonna stop recommending videos that I quote, misinform users in a harmful way. Examples they used like 9-11 conspiracy theory videos, videos that say, hey, we have a cure for this incurable disease, and if you drink this magical drink, it'll fix it those kind of videos. And we will develop new ways to counter those who use new domains such as cyber and social media to attack our nation or threaten our society. Like if I say, hey, that gas attack didn't happen in Syria, that was a hoax, they'll also take that video down. That's what they mean. So if you go against the establishment news narrative, like if I said WMDs, that was bullshit, they would take that video down. If I said Libyan war was bull, they would take that down. So that's what, so I told you before, all this Russiagate stuff, and anybody who pushed it on the left was a moron because they always use this to come after people who are pushing back against the state. And Where people will say things like, these are private companies. No, they're not. They're front companies for the US government. Okay, I've, I've interviewed these people like Eric Schmidt, former chairman, you know, board of directors of Alphabet. What does he do now? He is the chairman of the Department of Defense Innovation Board. Finally, I'm directing my administration to develop policies and procedures to ensure taxpayer dollars are not going in any social media company that repress free speech. enjoy watching these videos hope you'll support my channel by checking out my online store at markdice.com or click the links in the description below you can get some awesome cool shirts like this brand new free speech zone and so the establishment needs to get control of that narrative again and so that's why you're seeing a lot of this uh, well facebook is now in bed with a group called the atlantic council here in the united states which is just an arm of the government and so they brag that they take down Facebook pages at the behest of the Atlantic Council and, by the way, the state of Israel. But you, you, you can't even find it. I mean, you, you type in the exact title on YouTube and it's gone. It's, it's ghosted. It's like some friend of... Joseph Stalin's that was characterized as a counter-revolutionary and poof, vanished from the photos and the history. In regards to Russian involvement in the midterm elections. Did you hear that? In regards to Russian involvement, first it was collusion, then it was interference. Then it was meddling. Now it's involvement. Wow, eventually it's going to be, hey, the Russians knew there was an election happening. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would do it? One of them sent an email, I think. I think so. I got a phishing email. <laughs> we continue to see a pervasive messaging, messaging campaign by Russia to try to weaken and divide the United States. Yes, it is, and it's working. It's so extensive that they trick people into thinking they've been struggling to put food on their table for the last 40 years. <laughs> that was all in their heads. It's all in their heads. <laughs> the Russians are tricking us.
Everything's okay in the United States. <laughs> Russia's tricking us into thinking that we're buried under mountains of, of student debt, that we should end the wars and invest that money back home. Russia's tricking us into thinking 63% of the country can't afford a $1,000 emergency. Russia's tricking us into thinking that 30 million people don't have health care. Russia is tricking us into thinking we need a living wage. Uh, furthermore, does the U.S. interfere in elections? Uh, in Russia, for example, yes, and proudly. Uh, in 1996, uh, Clinton took pride in the fact that large-scale U.S. interference in the Russian election swung it to his favorite, Boris Yeltsin. Uh, the U.S. goes way beyond interfering in elections. It overthrows governments. Uh, you know, uh, long, I don't have to go through the history. So talk about Russian interference is simply a joke. Furthermore, the whole discussion is completely beside the point. There is massive interference in U.S. elections from the U.S. corporate sector, who pretty much buy the elections. This morning, Kiev again awoke to the sound of gunfire. A small group of protesters was trying to retake ground. They were met by sniper fire with deadly results. Well, she's just said that there are six dead people up there, not just injured, dead. They said they've been hit by snipers. Some of the demonstrators pulled back, dragging their injured comrades to safety under a hail of bullets fired by government forces. And the United States has supported Ukrainians as they build democratic skills and institutions, as they promote civic participation and good governance, all of which are preconditions for Ukraine to achieve its European aspirations. We've invested over $5 billion to assist Ukraine in these and other goals that will ensure a secure and prosperous and democratic Ukraine. Доблестная украинская армия твари обстреливает район больницы Вишневского. А можно Порошенко привет передать? Приезжайте, конечно. Уважаемый Петр Алексеевич, приезжайте к нам, поживите так, как мы. Мать диабетик в подвале живет. Ты же тоже диабетик, Порошенко. Ты же знаешь, какая это полиция страшная. Дети. Твои дети спокойно ложатся спать и кушают. А наши дети в подвале живут. Ми поїхали забрати трьохсотих. Оказалося, що ніяких там трьохсотих нема, а нас відправили в нападення. Вас просто командир обманули? Нас просто вони кинули. А ступу вони кинули і все. Та щоб ми знали, що ми поїдемо в нападення, ми вже не раз відказувалися, що ми знали, що буде, що куди ми їдемо. Ніхто не поїхав. А тут оказалося, що поїхали. Ротний сказав, ні, ніякого нападення, нічого, забрати на трьохсотих. Вот так и оказалось, что нам сказали, что по трех сутках, оказалось совсем другое. Больше я на них в жизни не пойду служить. Лучше бы они меня сразу посадили, и лучше бы я отказался, чем я пошел на них служить. Я до процента. А у меня у вас еду. Или Ксюху ли складной? А ты там за спрятан? Я до процента. 
Поехали. Давай там разлажить, оттаскивать их. Оттаскивать, я не вырулю. Держать я вали, блядь. Вот ваше слово Украине. Радуйтесь, братья. Зачем заприперла? Откуда? Какой области? Что Ты откуда? Ловинская область. Какой? Ловинская. Ты? Чуниевская. Ты? Винницкая. Что надо тут? Что вы здесь забыли? Шахты восстанавливать пришли. Тихо, я сказал, не лезь. Что забыли здесь, твари? Призвали. 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 За кого слушать, угоды? Нож! Рука опусти. За это? Зажрать его да, Жри, сука! Жри, тварь! Я вас тварь на ушу! Моих друзей! Вот открывай! Жри, сволочь! А ну руку опусти! Жри! Да, вот открывай! Ротик, открывай! Жри, тварь! А что ты трясёшься? Холодно! Холодно? Да я сидел на нем вверху! Холодно? Старая, чтобы коленки не простудили. Я могу сказать честно, вам повезло, вы останетесь живы. А тебя? Тебя. Я лично повезу. Откуда ты ему у нас? Жри, я сказал, сука, фарфула. Это Комбат, моя земля, я здесь вырос. Комбат. Откуда? Я же помню. Батя, чей нож? Помоги сюда. Это все вы сделали. А это какая на города? Хочешь, я поведу в тебя посмотришь? Глаза мне посмотри, хочешь? Ты знаешь, что вчера благодарила полтора месячный ребенок остаться без матери, без отца? Глаза мне смотри, тварь! Откуда ты родом? Скажи мне еще раз. Я тебе обещаю, я устрою все прекрасные. Вот кстати, что вы нам вытворяете здесь, я пойду под жетоми и буду круглосуточно сейчас вас долбать. Все есть твои артиллерии, всеми своими танками. Ты меня понял? И ты узнаешь, что такое настоящий ад. Ад! Завязывайте им глаза. Когда вы высадили в аэропорту, что вы получили от нас, правильно? Всех расстреляли. Правильно, расстреляли. Сколько вам там? Убито за 3, 3 двухсотых, коробочка уничтожена, и два взято плен. И плюс да. еще пять человек сейчас ведут, которые сами сдались. Что меня зазвал? Военкому от меня призвал. А ты на кого служишь? Вот за это дерьмо? А ты видел, что с городом делают? Вот это я побачу, что с городом делается. Я тебя оставляю живых, что ты для всех это рассказал. Мы поменяем тебя на своего пленного, который находится у ваших козлов. Я совсем расскажу. Вот ты расскажешь, если успеешь. So, uh, you know, they say Joe Rogan is spreading misinformation, but of course, as usual, I have to remind everybody that the biggest liars of the biggest lies that are the most destructive are who? The government. So here is the government spokesperson over at the uh, State Department. So he's here he is trying to, he's going to drum up, uh, he's pushing propaganda to Trump drum up a war with Russia and the United States, in, in Ukraine. And watch this. Uh, okay, well, that's a, quite a mouthful there. Um so you said actions such as these suggest otherwise suggest meaning they, they suggest they're not interested in talks and they're going to go ahead with some kind of a, what action so this is dead price spokesperson for the state department meeting joe biden in the military 
And what he is saying is that Russia's done actions that indicate they don't want to have negotiations or talk. And this reporter, the reporter's name, by the way, is Matt Lee. Uh, he says, what actions are you referring to? And here, watch this. <laughs> One, the actions I've just pointed to. Uh, the what fact, action? What? The, the fact that Russia continues to engage uh, in disinformation well, uh, campaigns. You, know, you made an allegation that they might do that. Have they actually done it? Uh, what we know, Matt, is what we what I have just said that they have engaged in this activity, well, uh, in this planning well, activity. Well, but, but let me let me because, because obviously this is not this is not the first time we've made uh, these reports public. You'll remember that just a few well, weeks I, ago. I'm sorry, you, made, made, made what report public? If you let me finish, I will okay. tell you what report we made okay. public. Uh, we told you a few weeks ago that we have information indicating Russia also has already prepositioned a group of operatives to conduct a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine. So that, Matt, to your question, is an action that Russia has already well, taken. It's an action that you say that they have taken, but you have shown no evidence to, 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 to confirm that. And I'm going to get to the next question here, which is, what is the evidence that they, I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. So what he's saying, you guys are just making shit up left and right. You're saying they're going to do false flags, meaning crisis actors? You're getting into Alex Jones territory. By the way, Alex Jones is right a lot of times when he calls out false flags, <laughs> just, just for the record. Uh, uh, and so, and look at his face. He knows he's got him. This guy's like, God damn it. You know, I have to keep lying. You know, I'm just going to keep lying anyways, Matt. No matter how many times you ask me about this, I'm just going to keep lying. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh. There we go. And when I came off the podium, this stranger walks up to me hands me pawns in the game he says ted this is what it's all about read it this is what it's all about this is a story about bush and Kerry and the rockefellers and the trilateral commission council on foreign relations the bilderbergs it's all right here and it's all about the illuminati these goals included corrupt the youth through sex and drugs um, elect our own people to the higher offices and political positions. If you can't elect your own people, put your own agent tours in to, as advisors. Uh, control the media. I look at the young generations and the, the not so young generations and I see what's coming for them orchestrated by the very same death cult that was behind 9-11 and I, I, I will not rest um, until I've done every possible thing I can to expose them, whatever the effect of me, so we've got a chance of bringing an end to this nonsense because if we don't then what Orwell thought about and wrote about is a tea party compared with what these people have in mind.